Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Sorry it takes me forever to post videos. I know it's like once a month or once every two months. But it's only because I work almost every day and then my days off I'm taking care of personal stuff and... Ugh, you know, just life gets in the way and hopefully around Christmas time I will have a new computer and computer or laptop, I don't know, but that will also help me out a lot because trying to edit and render all these videos takes forever on my laptop and my battery is going bad so sorry about all that but I am going to do a haul for you guys today so if you want to see what I got, then just keep on watching. So let's just jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing I am going to show you I got at Costco. And I only got one thing there, so I figured, eh, we can start off with that. But it is this, the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. And as I posted on my Facebook page, Costco is like the best place to get these because you get uh, four refill packs and two travel size packs for like $13 and at Walmart or Target they're like 6 or $7 for one pack so it's a much better deal so yeah it's my second one of these and I will continue buying them as long as they continue selling them. But yeah, so let's move on to the... Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, I guess let's move on to the Walmart haul. Or, yeah, what I got at Walmart. Duh, can't even talk today. Duh. But um, first thing I got is this new... Well, I don't know if it's new, new, but it's new to me. It's the Scandalized Rockin' Curves. It's got like this weird broken heart shaped brush. So I'm excited to use it. It looked interesting, so I was like, oh, let's give it a try. And then the next thing I got, it also said it was new. It's by Maybelline. And one of my friends actually got this. and. She said she loves it and uses it every day, so I figured I would give it a try. It's the new Maybelline Brow Gel, and I got the color Deep Brown. It's 260. I don't know if that really matters, but yeah, so I'm excited to try this out as well. And then this is my second one of these. It's the Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner. It's just basically like a clear wax pencil. So if you're wearing like some kind of uh, lip gloss or anything that's very liquidy or runny where it transfers easily, it just helps keep everything on your lips instead of going on your face. But yes, and I guess we can move on to Ulta stuff. First thing I got, because that was the whole main reason I went there, are these bad boys. The dry shampoos. Yes. Sorry, I can't talk today. But um, yeah, I love, 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 love these because they have a dark brown, yeah, dark and deep brown color in it. So it's not like other dry shampoos where you spray it in dark hair and then it looks like you have gray hair or just completely nasty white. Ugh at your roots, it's gross. This is amazing. And I know they have one for blonde hair, but in my opinion I feel like for blonde hair any kind of dry shampoo will work because it's just blonde hair. But um, they have the brown one and then they have a dry shampoo for redheads. So they have one for pretty much every hair color, which I love. And they were buy one get one 50% off. Not sure if they're still doing that, but it was only a few days ago, so who knows. And then, next thing I got was the Too Faced Lip Injections Color Bomb in Never Enough Nude. 
And this is basically like a lip, a moisture plumping lip tint. And I love this stuff. I have already used it many, many times. But just so you know, all of the things I'm showing, I will put swatches and stuff on my blog, and then I will post it on my Facebook page, so keep an eye out for that. That way you guys can actually see it up close and good, not on camera, because I still don't know how to work with this focus stuff, so yeah. And then next thing I got at Ulta was the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette super cute because I didn't want to get the full size one because I felt like it was just all repetitive colors and this one was so adorable it's tiny and it has four matte shades and four shimmery shades I think it's really cute but like I said I will post pictures on my blog just so you can get a better look at this stuff Another exciting thing that I got from Ulta was the Benefit uh, blush palette and it also comes with one bronzer and one highlight and five blushes and the names are Dandelion, Bella Bomba, Sugar Bomb, Coralista, and Rocketeer. And those are all of the ones that I had an eye on at the store. Except I already purchased the Coralista because that one was my favorite out of all of them. Because I feel like it's great for any look and for every day. So this is how the actual packaging looks like. And it's like a, a metal tin container. And then when you open it, there's just this little booklet thing. We don't need that. And then the inside just looks like that. I hope you guys can see. I'm sorry. I don't know if it focuses or not. I don't have a viewfinder to see. But I will post pictures of everything on my blog. So if you want to get a closer look that way, you can get a clear view of all right, and that was everything from Ulta, Walmart, and Costco. And last but not least, I went to Sephora. And one of the things I got was this, the melted... Oh, uh, yeah. Melted liquefied longwear lipsticks. And it comes with four shades. And it has Melted Berry, I think that, yeah, Melted Berry, Melted Fuchsia, Melted Peony, and Melted Nude. I actually have the Melted Peony uh, in the full size, but I figured it was only $25 for this, and for one full size it's like $21 or $22, don't remember. But I figured that would be a good deal to try out three new colors instead of buying them full size. Sorry, my chair keeps squeaking. So uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I will post swatches of these as well on my blog, so just make sure you check it out. And then the last thing of, I guess, the whole thing. I could have sworn I had more stuff, but I don't. It's this. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Like, I just want to hug it because it's so pretty. And I'm not one to, you know, splurge on stuff that's like holiday collections or anything like that just because it's limited edition. But I seriously fell in love with the blushes in here and it comes with one of my favorite mascaras. And the eyeshadows are super pretty, so let's just open it up real quick. So as soon as you open it, it just looks like this. It comes with a little 
better than sex mascara, which I love. I wish it came with the full size. Like, how much money you're spending on it? I feel like they should have thrown in the full size. And then it also comes with this really cute bag, and it's all glittery. And then on the other side, it just says Too Faced. And where this thing is, it has a cute little ornament looking thingy. So cute. Maybe I'm the only one that's a sucker for packaging. But, and then just slide that out. And how adorable is this? It's so cute. And then even the back. And from what I remember, because I looked at the uh, the palette last year, I think it was, yeah, whatever. I don't remember the name of it, but this one is called Everything Nice. That's what pretty girls are made of. And it's much chunkier than the last palette, but I think that's because they included brushes in this one. And I'm just going to take out the liner. But this is how it looks. You get all of these super pretty eyeshadows, and then it comes with, uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, because this is more of just like a bronzer and a highlight, and I actually have this bronzer, the Chocolate Soleil, it smells so good, really good, and then the two blushes it comes with are Sweet Pink and Papa Don't Peach. Sounds like a Madonna song, but um, yeah, and then it comes with those cute little face brushes, and yeah, from the swatches I did in store, it seemed like a great quality palette, but I will definitely post pictures of everything, and up close swatches, just so you guys can see, and I feel like this would be a really great like Christmas present for somebody because it's I think like $58 and you get so many eyeshadows, two blushes, a highlight, a bronzer. I mean, I'm sure the brushes aren't that great quality, but whatever, they're free. And then you get a mascara, cute little bag. I feel like it would be a great little gift for somebody, especially if it's someone that's addicted to makeup and loves anything that has to do with makeup, I think they really like it. But yeah, that is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if it was a little bit weird, because I seriously could not talk today. And I really just need to film this stuff and put it up so I can use everything. It was killing me to have this for a week and not be able to open it because I wanted to show it to you guys and yeah hope you guys enjoyed and I will also post a link somewhere down below for my blog so you can go look at the pictures and everything but yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are Till next time.